بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب ود اے ویری ٹریجک انسیڈنٹ اینڈ دس انسیڈنٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی این آئی اوپنر فار یو گائز ایز ویل رائٹ بیکاز یو نو سم ٹائمز وی لرن فرام ادر پیپلس ایکسپیرینس سو دس ویڈیو از گوئنگ ٹو بی یور لرننگ فرام ادر پیپلس ایکسپیرینس You might come across this advertisement on Facebook that IELTS certificates for sale and they give uh, pictures of pretty girls and pretty boys that they are receiving IELTS certificates, right? As you saw in thumbnail also, several IELTS certificates and then they say we have our agents and they temper the result. You took IELTS in the past, we can temper the result and all that. One of my subscribers from a country which I don't want to mention actually fell prey to these fraudsters. So what happened? He started negotiating with them and they said we would charge you $1,000 and you will get 8.5 band IELTS certificate and all that. You know, whenever you are disappointed, whenever you are hopeless, and you find a little hope over there you always welcome that hope because in hope there is actually some hope for you that maybe i'm going to get across this thing or i'm going to overcome this hurdle of my life with the help of any unfair mean so this student of mine he settled the price for 8 band 8 band plus and they said okay finally 1000 us dollars He paid the initial amount and the agreement was that within few weeks they will do all these things. They took his biometric as well. You know, the fraudsters work as they are doing something in reality. They took pictures, okay, biometric, passport copy, this and that and all that. And after one week when he was expecting his IELTS certificate, they called him again and they said, well, actually, Uh, instead of you, somebody else will sit in IELTS exam. I have to be extra careful because I, I want to hide his identity and all that. So they called him again. They said somebody else will sit in, instead of you to take IELTS test. And for that, we need $700 more. Now, let me tell you guys, this is the planning of fraudsters that they get initial amount from you and then in order to save that initial amount you will give more money same thing happens in gambling when you lose a little amount you put more because you think my previous amount will come back then you put more that my all amount will come back but this doesn't happen in gambling and this doesn't happen in IELTS in case of fraud cases he paid $700 more And then what happened? This is what the guys do. Then they blackmail you. After paying $700, they said, okay, we are going to send you this IELTS certificate, but one of our partners, he is demanding $200 more because you got 8.5 band. And they will send you some fake certificate also to show you, look, this is your certificate. We need $200 more. And the story is not finished here. That certificate will never reach you. After that, you will receive a call as he received a call from another country. And then they became CIA. They become F, uh, F, FBI as well. That we have a fake IELTS certificate. Huh? You deal in fake IELTS certificates. We have your passport. We have your photograph. We have your biometric and all that. And now we are going to lodge a great complaint against you and you are going to be in trouble and then that person will say i am fbi inspector and then he will demand more money 500 dollars give me and i'll bury it here okay so then you have to give more money one of my students actually she was very close to committing suicide when she called me And when she asked me about all these things, she said, Sir, I am in a foreign country. My job is at stake. I've already paid quite a handsome amount and now they are blackmailing me. I'm thinking of committing suicide. I said, stop here. These fraudsters are faceless people. They have no authority. They are the ones who just try to, what do you say, try to blackmail you and they see if you are scared, they will scare you more. And if you are not scared, 
then they will not scare you anymore right so this student of mine he lost his seventeen hundred dollars and then he realized that there is no certificate and now they are just demanding money from me again again and by the way until you get until you just keep on paying they will be demanding 200 100 300 until the last point and ending is you block their number you block their number after paying all the amount you usually block their number and then the story is finished and in most of the cases the students they don't tell anyone but this is good that he shared and he said sir my name my nationality my country my everything should be kept secret so i am warning you on facebook if you see any pretty faces any beautiful ladies holding ielts certificates in their hand and <laughs> like that that means it's fake and fraud okay yes exactly it's all fake and fraud and by the way even if they send you that certificate there is no way of verifying that certificate whether that is the right document or just a fake piece of paper right exactly and nobody can temper cambridge university's record come on guys they are not small babies they've been doing ielts ielts is the only test which is actually quite what do you say uh fair and there is no number two of that some of my students i'll not name the country they took the bugs with them electronic devices there was one audio device which which went inside the ear and it was not visible and then they had the mobile which they hid somewhere which i can't tell you right and then even they were caught right they were caught okay and then their test was cancelled and one of my students i don't want to name him he's been banned from taking ielts test for two years and now he's waiting for the ban to be lifted and the other day okay okay i don't want to say anything yeah otherwise it will reveal his uh, country and all that okay so please you guys have my number before jumping into anything like that you can just text me and ask me sir i'm going to do this i will give you the fair advice believe you me i will give you very very fair advice and i will save you from these fraudsters that's all guys thank you very very much sometimes you know people send me message the other day i received a message from a country how much do you charge for eight band ielts certificate and i said okay i'll just take my shoe off and i'll hit you on your head 100 times and then i'll forget it and start it again from one right so i don't deal with anything like that i don't i don't deal in these type of things i teach ielts right i have only one way and that is the fair way and i follow only the fair way that's all guys thank you very much i teach ielts online and on campus on campus here in lahore and online all over the world if you want to be the part of my ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that asad yakub truly wishes you best of luck and may god protect you from all these devils who look angels but at the end they turn they turn out to be devils may god protect you from all these uh, people take good care of yourselves allah hafiz